Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So I just finished my Marguerite Miller collage challenge video that you guys will see tomorrow. <laughs> I'm doing them backwards and out of order. <clears throat> and I thought I would um, come on and continue work on this little um, envelope folder thing. Multi-envelope file folder journal cover. How's that? <clears throat> And I think what I want to do with this little envelope, I'm going to do real quick and then I'll show you what um, I did. I haven't done much, but just a, a journaling card. So I have these pieces. I'm just going to put them on here kind of to cover up. I just don't want that. And I can't decide if I'm going to cover that, but I want to put a stamp here. And I thought, I mean, I guess I could just put the stamp there, but you know, I like the layering thing. So I think I'll put that there. I had a Malaysia stamp that had a a butterfly which was cool but I want to keep this coffee dyed envelope because it just looks kind of neat so I think I will do that and then I like this little frog but I think I'm gonna put this strip here first just because I realized I'm kind of a dope I should have covered all this first but I just got going on the envelope and didn't really um pay any attention to that part <laughs> So now I'm paying the price because I have this stark white envelope that, that is already covered with stuff and I have to try to cover it. So that is what we're gonna attempt. So I understand if you're not totally into this today, you can, uh, you're welcome to <laughs> find another more exciting thing happening, <clears throat> but it's gotta get done. So it's just one of those things. So I thought I'd come on and chat with you guys. I'm just, Hanging out here, like I said, just finished my Marguerite Miller collage challenge. I like the way that collage turned out. It was a little tricky for me, but kind of odd prompts again this week. You know, some weeks the prompts you just kind of jive with or whatever, and other weeks it's like, uh, what? So, yeah, it kind of depends on the images you find too, what makes you go, oh yeah, this is going to be cool. And then other weeks it's like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to like it. <clears throat> okay, this little frog came from Ick Peely Imaginarium in one of her, I don't know which one, because I just found it in my stash of stuff. But it's in one of her digis. And she's the one that does the, the art dolls. I have got ink, paint, everything under my nails. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. We're having snow. <laughs> it comes and then it goes. It's kind of weird. I'll just put him like that, even though he's going over the plastic. I'm not worried about it. So yeah, just kind of an odd day. But my kids are both off school, so they're both here, which is awesome. Well, my daughter just went to a movie, but... And I forgot it was, I mean, I didn't forget it was a holiday because like I said, the kids were here, but I still went to drop stuff off the post office. Well, usually they're little, they have a drop box, you know, so even if they're not there, you can drop stuff off if it's already all paid for. Um, but that was even full this morning, so it was like not going to be able to fit anything else in there. So I had to go to a different place that's open. <sighs> all the trials, right? trials and tribulations <clears throat> so that's kind of what I've been doing I'm just gonna do some random marks I mean like they'll sort of look um, post office ish ish but that one's already kind of got a cancellation on it anyway but that covered or if I don't care <laughs> I think I kind of don't care I think it's okay <clears throat> okay so that's kind of all I'm going to do to that and then we're going to fix the little um, journaling card that's going to go in here and I don't know why that keeps sticking right there there's like literally nothing there it's so weird 
Well, maybe once we make it a little thicker, I'm gonna put it on a piece of book page. And this is one of the glue, you know, glue book pages. So, because I've had people ask what I do with those, because we've got, you know, some new subscribers. So welcome to everybody. And yeah, glad you guys are all here. And thanks for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I know I put this upside down. I've been told. I don't know. Well, this is right side up, but anyway. It's probably because I'm upside down. Backwards and sideways. <laughs> okay. I like my other cutter better, but it works. I can save that other piece for another one. I think I want to put something obviously under that and I'm going to ink it. Probably put this away now. This was from my Marguerite Miller. Just trying to make some room. I feel like I'm cluttered up. So I'll probably just put like some old you know, papers back there. A oh, piece of this might be kind of neat. Let's just take a piece of it. That's just um, one of those collage boards that I've made <clears throat> that I've spattered paint and stuff on. And I've mainly used like book page or sort of neutral background type things. That is that uh, thumbprint collage that I did. That's gonna make that stick up weird though, huh? I don't even think you're gonna see any of it. Yeah, I don't really wanna waste that on that. Just because you're not going to see enough of it. Let's just use some different colors of book page. I think that'll be better. Because I just need kind of a border of it, you know? <clears throat> a bit closer. Yeah, my husband and I saw uh, Murder on the Nile which is what my daughter's going to see. And it was very good. So if you're looking for a movie to see at the movie theater, it was definitely worth seeing, I think. But I like like murder mysteries and stuff like that. So but I thought they did an excellent job. You know, it was one of those where like, it was him, it was them, it was, you know. <laughs> so it was good. I had a good cast. I don't know, remember names, so don't ask me to do that. But anyway, it was good. I've never been much of a, like, star follower. Like, you know, know the names of stars and stuff like that. It's just never really been my thing so I never remember people like who is in it it's like I don't know <laughs> they're good they've been in lots of stuff <laughs> I'm a big help mm. <laughs> so kind of the same way with music like I, I like it and I listen to it and but I never know who's singing at the moment like my husband always says who's this it's like I don't know it's like how do you not know it's like I just don't know I don't know I'm not even good with like the big, the big, big stars. I just don't pay enough attention, I guess.
but it was definitely a good show. And it was fun to go with my husband to the movies. We haven't done that in ages. Ages and ages. <clears throat> At least a couple of years, right? I mean, I think we went one other time since all this insanity started, but we don't go a lot. Well, for the longest time, our theater was closed. So, and I noticed too that they're not going to, one of our theaters, like our main one, isn't going to sell concessions anymore, which I thought was really weird. Because, um, you know, that seems like a big part of their business, but I don't know if it's because they don't have enough staff or what the deal is. So, let me know if that is the same in your area. It's kind of weird. In August of 1647. Wow. This says, <laughs> all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just say that. No, it's on this piece of paper. But yeah, strange, strange days we are living in. Yeah, I like that. Just something back behind there. To, and I just wanted it a little bit bigger. <clears throat> now you probably won't be able to see what I want to see through the window, but. hard when it's that small of a window. I should probably do this side too. I don't even have to back this one because it is book page, plain book page. But I will stitch around it because you can see it's coming up. It just kind of sticks wherever you've gotten glue, you know. I don't think I'll do it totally straight. I just set those off to the side because I use them to paint or spatter or do whatever on. And then I'll toss them so they get a couple good uses before they go in the bin on those ones because they're too thin. They just aren't great page paper for doing that. Or, you know, for making journaling cards is what I'm saying. Yeah, could have been down a little more, but it's fine. And then I figured out I've been using my snarky my snarky Tim Holtz, since I didn't really want him to be snarky, just taking words out of him. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't know. I just am not that into the snark. I don't know. Where's the unsubscribe button on adulthood? Boy, that's true. I don't know. I'm not even playing one <clears throat> It's fine when I'm not um, making a video to sit and fiddle with that, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay, do I want anything else on there? Oh, these are all those. It's not what I thought it was. Could do a number over here. Just for something. Another little something. know what number I want. This might work. Six. I guess three would make a little more sense, huh? Not that it matters, but okay. What else could we put on there for some interest? Oh, we could use a little this little piece of this that's left. Not much left, but just to go up here at the top. I just this was just me um, stitching junk together. That's over in my sewing table. It's not very well either. Just sort of. Throwing it together, basically. Do I want something under this? I don't think so. I think it's good. So 
So yeah, lots of people have said they're going to try these, which I'm excited about. And I would love to see a picture if there's any way you can do that. Like if you have Instagram or, you know, whatever, whatever you use. Or if you want to send it to my Etsy shop. And that will go in there. I hope that it is going to stick up. Oh, not too bad. Just mostly the fabric, kind of like that. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Now let's figure out how to do this back part back here. It's probably just going to be bits and pieces of stuff so that it just gets covered, basically. off that parasol. Mm, that's not quite big enough. Ugh. That piece isn't any bigger. Well, I guess I can start with that and then um, just kind of go from there. The problem is there's that weird lip right there. <clears throat> okay, I'll probably just ink back behind there. I'll need something to cover up that. Let's do that first. This is from my industrial add-on digital download. It's just um, kind of real plain pages that you can add to your journal. You know what, I just realized that doesn't go all the way. Just cut a little slit in it. I'm just trying to see if I can get it to fit in there. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I'm still struggling a little bit with the whole <clears throat> asthma thing. I mean, it's way better. It's fine, but it's just one of those things that sometimes it kind of bugs me for a little bit. So yeah, this is just a real neutral digital download, um, kind of in the browns, you know, that's the same thing I used there. <clears throat> and it just kind of goes, has some of the same elements as my um, industrial digital downloads. So that's why I said it's an add-on for that. But it goes with lots of stuff, so. Yeah, I should have done, so note to self, it's probably best if you cover all your envelopes first. <laughs> like, you know, figure out what you want them. Unless you just want them white or whatever. But if you want them covered, then it's probably good to do that 
is one of the first things before you start gluing other stuff to it. I just get excited and start sticking stuff together. <clears throat> that piece was going to go up there. It just has to... Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of book page right here. <laughs> I've got a mess. That's what happens when you do one video after the other. You just sort of get all gobbledygooked up. Okay, it's going to have to go on the outside of that instead of on the inside because it's just not going to work otherwise because <clears throat> that edge is glued. into my finger <laughs> all right so let's do a little bit of inking here so that this at least okay I think that will be good so what have you guys been up to? Anything exciting? I'm not doing a whole lot around here. Just like I said, the kids have been hanging out. And... Getting stuff done. I might put a little washi right there. If I can find some I want. I should make some more. But I mean that would be a little big for there anyway, but this is Tim Holtz. I have no idea what washi he's got going on now. stuck there because it'll just be on the edge of that bag. It's no big deal. Yay! So there's that. And then we'll do this piece probably with something you can write on since that's kind of a good spot for writing. <clears throat> I'm going to tear it up a little bit higher just because I want to tear the bottom too. And I did it totally crooked. <laughs> oh my gosh, where's my pencil? That I don't have any lead in still. Cause I keep forgetting until I go to use it. I'm not going to rip it any <clears throat> straighter here. I need about twice the amount of space, honestly. You know what? This is the smart way. And let me straighten this up a little bit because otherwise it's not going to do any good to get the bottom straight. Okay. And this edge is also straight. 
I really didn't account for. Yeah, that'll work. That's a good writing spot. I'm going to ink first. And had no work, no school either to my daughter today. I was like, wow, you guys totally lucked out. They usually have one or the other, it seems. But normally they would have been at school, so that's the only reason. Let me get in there more. If I ink this, it will. Okay. What would probably be smart is if you made a lot of your own envelopes too, if you didn't want, if you don't have junk mail ones. Um, cause that way you could just make them out of printed paper already, which would make it go a lot faster other than making the envelopes, of course. Okay. Let me close, maybe. <laughs> Did I get too close in there? Not really. Okay. Now this one I think I decided is a side opening pocket. Did I decide that? Hmm. Don't know if I want it like that. I guess it could be since it gets to open. I think I'll cover it with something. Do I want something I can write on right there? Or this side with something you can write on. I probably should have done the whole thing, huh? I could just do that middle section of the plain color. Let's figure out how big we need it first. down a little bit further because we need to straighten it out again since that's the other part of the one that I got all crooked. I really need to go through and uh, redo my room again. I swear it's a constant, constant, constant thing because it starts to like get to me after a while once it, when it's a mess. <gasps> Starts to feel like my brain's a mess, if you know what I'm saying. And I ripped off the part that I needed. I'm gonna just take off a little and see where we're at. Just need a little bit and it needs to be straight. So let's try to get it straight. Straight as possible anyway. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting this nailed down. We just have, we'll just have to make some cards. Oh, I forgot to show you what I made. And that will take a little time. And we need something for that bag right there. 
as well. So I'm going to have a surprise on Thursday. I'm doing a little sort of a challenge with um, Antonio Makes, and I will leave it a link in the description box to his channel because he'll also be, you know, doing the same challenge. So I think I'm going to just put a thumb notch on this side. That way when it's closed... This is just not meeting up right here and it's bugging me. I need my other scissors so I can't not use those. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to match up. It's better when it's open, but when it's folded, it's crooked. I don't think I made it any better. I just made it crooked. <laughs> okay, let's do a thumb notch on it. Um, I think I'll use this. Yeah, we're just doing a fun little, like, um, journaling cards, some journaling cards, and there's certain things that we have to use, so watch on, watch him on Wednesday, me on Thursday, and you'll get the, the scoop. It's kind of fun to have some guys doing, you know, doing journaling, so... It's good to encourage the encourage people to watch. You know, if they're if they're obviously good at what they do. <laughs> Anyways. It would be, let's do something decorative to kind of go with that a little bit. Oh, I could use that. Wait, I think you will. He's so cute. Okay, so this card um, that you can see through the window there, the window envelope. One, and I'm gonna stitch around it. I probably won't add any fabric to it because it folds right in there, so I don't want to uh, mess that up. But I will fold, or I will fold, <laughs> stitch around it so that you know it looks more finished. And then let's do this piece. I pretty much need all of him here. Let's do right on that line. Actually, well, we'll start there and we'll see. I'm not going to go all the way across because I don't want to tear the, the fairy. I'm just going to get it down to a more manageable piece and then we can figure out. How much we need. <clears throat> and I got it too skinny. <laughs> uh, it's okay because I can do something else. Part of his book is gonna go, but we'll tear a little bit off of this side and then maybe it won't be as much. Bring it all the way down. Do a strip of something else across the top. I might take just a little more off the mushroom since it's um, the focal point is him, obviously, right?
Yeah, let me know if you saw <clears throat> Death on the Nile. Death? Or is it murder? I think it's Death. Death on the Nile. It was good. Tore his hand a little. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. And then I'll just put a strip of something else under there since I was a dope, like usual. I'll just put that piece under there <clears throat> since this uh, envelope wasn't coffee dyed or anything fun. Need to do some more gnomes. They're cute. hands today instead of jazz hands <laughs> it's getting hot in here now it was snowing now the sun's shining directly into my room and now it's feeling hot it's crazy it's getting to be that sort of spring weather I mean we're not out of the winter woods yet but um where it's kind of just all over the place. You never know what in the world the weather's gonna do. So then when it flips open, you can, so I'll glue down that side to close it up here. That's a really bad straight line. Okay. What else do we need? I don't know. How long have we been? Six. Okay. Yeah, much better. That white envelope thing was bugging me. I guess I can flip this around the corner. So I probably should do a journaling card or some type of thing. that envelope there would be good. I wonder if this would fit in here. Probably. Yeah, we'll just decorate that. And then need something. Grabbing book pages. I had that one, but it was too skinny, so... I need one that's a little bit wider. I'm gonna use this pen. So we're gonna cut off about to the F, which I know is quite a bit more, but the two sides are, it's, it's just not gonna fit all the way in after I put that glue on there. If you see what I'm saying. I'm gonna grab my other cutter. since I can never remember to do it before the video starts. And I am sorry about that. Nice little square card here. Make sure it goes in and out before we bother decorating it, right? No, nope, it needs a little bit more. And then I'll probably round the corners too. Once I get some stuff on there. It's amazing when you glue one of those sides how much it takes from your 
pocket. That's why it's good. Like on that long skinny one, I wrapped that piece around this so that it doesn't take up the whole pocket. everything <clears throat> kind of thinking one of these might be good these are those things I got on Amazon they're just kind of collaged pieces already but they're good because they're botanical and butterflies and things like that they just go with the theme pretty well that would be good Do I have left in the fairies? Do oh, I have her? Does she fit on that one? Yeah, I'm wondering if I cut the border off of this, it'll probably be a little small. But we'll see. And again, yeah, I got these on Amazon, these pieces. They're just thin, um, they're like little scrapbook sets, but they're not, you know, real high quality paper or anything. But I mean, it's fine for doing this kind of stuff. Oh, this would be good too. She's good. I mean, she looks really good with that though. Yeah, maybe I will use her. Hmm. I don't know, I'll find some more for those guys. So we'll probably put some old book page with that. Or music paper would work. Since I have it sitting here. <laughs> oh, this says winter. I was going to save that. I know that sounds insane, but like, you know how I always do my winter journals? So I don't want to use that. Let's see what else we got. Not really the right color of green compared to what we have been using. I mean, it doesn't look bad there, but kind of needs just a little bit more olive. Oh, that's got purple writing with it. Let's use that. where that piece is from so I apologize it is in the scrap barrel you never know I kind of want the sort of middle section of it of course I don't know how much of it you're even gonna see it's sort of silly that won't work me you see a bit of it and then we need something up there <clears throat> uh, tearing off all the notes on the top there that's real great That's what we'll do. Let's get everything inked. Gotta get this 
I'm just inking her on a book. It's a little bit easier. And better for my hand. <laughs> I need to start doing more and I don't. I'm just so used to doing it the other way. That one's done. My hands are a mess. I've got ink all the way up my hand. <laughs> <sighs> I think it's permanent sometimes. <clears throat> I don't know how I do it, honestly. Just get working away. Okay. This way or this way? This way, I think. Right? Very lovely topic we got going on here, but hopefully if you guys are not reading that. I didn't write it. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm just covering it. on here, but I feel like it needs something else. Don't know what. Hmm. Does it or no? I just feel like it needs a little... Yeah, it just needs that separation between her dress and the background, I think. Like, the matching is good, but sometimes it makes it go away. So, it's just some book page in another language. See, you see me over here? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this under here because somehow I kind of missed that. It happens. This is just bugging me. It just keeps doing weird stuff. If it'll stick, I don't know. Okay, now I need to back that. I'll probably just use some coffee dye. Oh, maybe I'll do a little pink. A little avocado dye instead. And that's Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts. Beautiful avocado dye that she gifted me. Thank you, Denise. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll 
that sit in there. Now I probably will stitch around this one, but I don't think I'll add fabric again because of I might have a tiny, like a tiny piece of fabric. Maybe it will work like lace or something then because I don't want it to get caught up in that edge. I kind of almost like that torn edge sticking up up there, so I think I'm just going to let it be like that. The... Oh, I forgot about rounding the corners. Well, it actually ends up fitting down in there. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to put any fabric. I might even have to cut off that edge. I'm going to close. It's different. Oh, it's this because I added. Okay. <laughs> Every time you add anything, it's, it's like... Um, I don't know, I'm trying to make it all work. So we're getting there. We have this envelope <laughs> is basically all now, I think. And then obviously lots of journaling cards and things like that. This one goes in here and I need to stitch around it and I need to glue that corner. I mean, stitching around it would have grabbed that too, but that goes in there. It goes in a little bit easier now too. She's in there. You can see the music, so I think it'll be easy to remember to pull on that. We need something in there, and something in here, and something there and there. <laughs> we could put lots of some things in those pockets because <clears throat> they're pretty big. Sorry, my throat's tickling. All right, it's getting there. And then we can start on the journal. It's like two journals in one just because it's just a lot, but I love doing these. I just think they're so, so, so fun. So anyway, I hope you guys liked that. And I hope, oops, that's not the way it goes because this way, that's the thing, remembering what direction it goes, right? All right. I will chat at you again tomorrow. Have a lovely evening and thank you so much for um, watching my channel. If you could please like and subscribe, that would help me enormously. I can't tell you how much that actually helps us. So, um, and even if you just want to comment as like a smiley face or something, do that. It just helps. So anything's great. So thank you. Thank you. And have a great evening. And I'll chat with you again soon. Love you guys. Bye.